How's it going, everybody? Uh, today we're going to go over the new card in 0 0.118, the Grid card. Now, this is a card that everybody so far has been super excited about, so I just wanted to do a quick video on how to use it, how you can replace your vertical and horizontal stacks, and how it can be used in a crazy way, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, will come up with some awesome ways to use it. So to get started, um, right now what we're looking at is a regular Grid card configuration. Grid card has the same things as the vertical stack, but it also comes with a columns option and a square option. So uh, square is on by default, so it'll try and make your your cards that you add to the stack uh, nice and square um, or nice and rectangle. It just makes them nice and the same size. So on the top, we have a we have a grid card, regular inputs, um, but with four buttons. And see that the default amount of columns is three. If you have five car or five cards in the stack, then it'll be three on the top, two on the bottom. Um, but you can also edit that the amount of columns that you have to say two, and it'll be two on the top and two at the bottom. The picture cards below are just three picture cards with images that are in more in a portrait style. And so to do that, you can go to edit. You can see that this is just the normal grid card options. I have not changed anything. And if you do change anything, it will, it's not currently supported in the UI editor. You will have to go to the YAML code and update the YAML code with the square and the columns options. You can see here that this is just three different picture cards. Picture entity uh, is the first two, and then the picture card is the, is the third one. Looks nice and neat, really clean. Now to get into replacing our current stack card. So sta the vertical stack and the horizontal stack. Go to the vertical stack first. The first row is the grid stack with one column and with square set to false. We can look at that really quick. So type grid, columns is set to one and square is set to false. If you, if you set it up for those specific options, configuration, it will look exactly the same as the vertical stack you can see here in the middle. So this is the vertical stack, nothing special done to it, but with the same cards as this grid stack with one column set to square equals false. Now on the far right, you'll see that a grid stack with one column, but square set to true um, is not exactly the same. Try is to make it as, as square as possible. So it's going to be um, the width is equal to the height or something close to it. Um, so it, it does make the buttons a little bit bigger, trying to make them square. So then it might, might be an option that you want to look into uh, removing. All you have to do is square equals false, and we can show you that. Again, um, square equals false. And I'll post all this code down in the description below. Now we can move on to the horizontal stack. So here in the middle, you'll see the normal horizontal stack. Super clean, um, you know, just the size of the buttons. Here, the grid card with four columns, and you'll be, you have to set the columns to how many ever you want. But um, grid column, four columns, not square. So square equals false is exactly the same as the horizontal stack. But big difference between the vertical and the horizontal is if you keep that square as true, which is the default, it actually, in my opinion, looks much better. It's uh, much more padding. Uh, just overall, the, the aesthetic is a little bit better. So this is square equals false, columns to four. This is just your normal horizontal stack. And this is your grid card with uh, column set to four and square as default to true. So that's how you can you can kind of uh, replace your current vertical and horizontal stacks. In my opinion, they're much easier. It's much easier to use and you have much more control over it. So I personally will be changing mine over to vertical and grid. Let's get into something that you can do that's kind of cool. Is this grid inside of a grid? So right now, what this is, is we have a picture card on the left, four button cards on the right. So what this is, is currently we're in a panel mode view. We have a grid card here. So that's the, the top level grid card. Inside that grid card, we have a picture entity card. But inside of that grid card as well, we have another grid card. And that grid card is making the four buttons stacked on top of each other, set columns to two. Square is true, makes it nice and pretty, nice and clean. So this is kind of the stuff that you can do with the new uh, grid card. It makes it super easy to configure and set up stuff like that. And I'm kind of looking forward to what other people come up with. And if you want, you can share your code and your images down in the comments below. 
Grid card is awesome. Uh, everybody should use it. Uh, created by Paulus, the creator of Home Assistant. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We hit a thousand subscribers the other day, which is awesome. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I am also upgrading the YouTube videos and everything like that. So um, hopefully you guys like it.